Traders, FS Pecoletti here. Today is Tuesday, August 27th, and this is my recap of the top view videos of the day. And the US dollar came in number one today, so we're going to do a quick recap on the one hour time frame. If you'd like to see my full top down analysis on the euro dollar from this morning, make sure you check out the video linked at the end of this video over here. So, it always kind of sideways for most of the day, but then eventually the dollar pairs did break up pretty nicely. Now, I have my Fibonacci retracement from here to here because I definitely wouldn't disagree with anybody that would say that this is looking more like a wave A and this is more like a 1, 2, 3 pattern for wave B. Potentially, it could bounce from one of these Fibonacci levels and actually go down to make a wave C before it actually does end up continuing up. So, definitely keep an eye on these Fibonacci levels, but we have to remember the trend is definitely 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 up on all the higher time phase basically so what does that mean to me that means that there's d probably even a better likelihood that it just keeps on trending up i'm still holding on to longs on the euro dollar because the trend is definitely up on basically every single time frame if you are more of a scalper watch these fibonacci levels for a possible push down otherwise i would continue to look for longs in an uptrend checking out the news calendar we do have a uh, cpi tonight for the aussie um, it's in the Asian session, 2.30 UK time. That's definitely the next highlight on the news calendar. Uh, we got Waller Speaks tomorrow in the morning. I really don't think that's going to do a whole lot. And we have some oil news tomorrow, which probably won't do a whole lot. So the Aussie CPI is probably the next big thing to look out for. And um, anyways, if you haven't done so already, definitely check my uh, free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.